Hi and hello guys. I have got a very interesting video to share with you all today. See if you are in the habit of watching movies online via the torrents, then probably you might be aware of the two applications or services called the Popcorn Time and the Streamio. Popcorn Time does have some applications for various platforms, but Streamio doesn't have any apps for uh, iPads and Apple iPhones. Okay? So in this video uh, we shall use a raspberry pi to set up a streamio server and then access streamio on your ipad and uh, iphones okay so without any delay let us get started so last year i published a video on how you can have streamio running on your raspberry pi that is as to how you can directly watch movies or stream content from streamio on your raspberry pi okay the project is hosted in the github i will leave the link for this project in the description of this video say if you follow all these instructions given in the readme you should have no trouble in setting up streamio on raspberry pi okay so once you are done setting up streamio on your raspberry pi uh, say if you want to use it just as a server then you need not enable the client service just enable the a uh, server service alone that should be fine if you want to use uh, the raspberry pi as a streamio server okay uh, i have already got the streamio installed over here so let me just quickly launch the server and show you a demonstration of streamio working on ipad okay so i have already set up uh, the streamio server on my raspberry pi and right now i'm just launching the server from the terminal Okay so I have got my server up and running now grab your ipad and open safari browser and in the address bar type https and then colon to forward slashes and then the ip address of your raspberry pi you can get the ip address of your raspberry pi from the network settings over here and then you need to key in the port over here so i have created self signed uh, ssl certificates uh, to enable https protocol or transmission so server uh, launched without the https protocol will not work on your ipad so you need to have the https and for that you need to use the port 12470 and now press on the go button if you are accessing the server for the first time it will say that the connection is not private this is because i have used a self signed certificate as you can see the movie is streaming in high definition okay so let the so let this run on the ipad and let me sign having the movie having one movie running on the ipad let me quickly open another movie in windows and then you can see the cpu usage okay so simultaneously i am accessing the server on my pc as well as on my ipad say if you look at the cpu usage it is in the bare minimum level it is really not taxing on the raspberry pi and there is no uh, frame drops in both of my devices as well so the pc is also playing fine 
the ipad is also playing fine okay so that is pretty much it guys so that is how you can access stream you on your apple devices using with the help of a raspberry pi so i really hope that you find this video useful and informative thanks for watching take care and bye bye